that's my daughter Lindsay on the subway in between those two people. She just finished the New York City Marathon. The woman next to her is my Aunt Jeannie, who lives in Greenwich Village. We stayed with her for the weekend of the race. The young man on the other side of Lindsay is her boyfriend, Chris. That's Jenny, my wife, sending emails about Lindsay in the marathon. On race day, Lindsay took a bus to the starting line, and the rest of us walked several miles through the city to various locations along the race course where we could see Lindsay running. It was a cool, breezy day, and as soon as we got out on the street, I just felt this wave of excitement come over me. And with my camera on automatic, and without even looking through the viewfinder, I just began manically shooting pictures of New York City street scenes. More than 50,000 people ran this race, and way more than that were watching. The runners made this colorful wave that just moved through the streets of the city. Some of them wore goofy costumes, some of them juggled balls while they ran. There was a man with a live parrot on his head. There was an Italian guy with an orange wig. At one point, a runner stopped right in front of me and leaned over like he was gonna vomit. And I jumped back, but then he was okay, and he ran on. But after he was gone, I thought, wow, that was close. Because I did not want strangers in New York City throwing up on me. Some of the runners printed their names across their t-shirts so that people in the crowd would cheer for them, and, and people did. People were cheering for total strangers and making lots of noise with noisy things. Sometimes a runner would veer off the race course to hug or embrace friends or relatives that he saw in the, in the spectators, in the crowd. After the race, we met Lindsay at the family gathering point. She looked fantastic, like she'd only run a couple of miles for a Sunday morning jog. Her smile was just beaming with uh, a sense of accomplishment. Her college roommate, her former college roommate, Bren, and her boyfriend, John, met us there to congratulate Lindsay. I, I don't know how we found each other in this huge crowd of people. It was just one of those days where everything worked out. I took more than a thousand pictures that day. I only got one picture of Lindsay running in the marathon. And it's crooked, it's out of focus, but what is clear in this fuzzy photograph is how happy she looks. <laughs> <laughs>